all right guys so in this video we are going to learn how to do proper electrical pulse wiring but before we delve into the wiring itself there are a few things that you have to understand about house wiring before we start doing anything at all all right the first thing you have to understand is that when we talk of house wiring you must understand that we have different categories of houses okay and so the way and manner you go about wiring one house may be different from the way and manner you go about wiring another house so that means to say we have bigger houses and then we have smaller houses some houses could be made up of just a room a sitting area and then a porch another house can be made up of two rooms a sitting area a kitchen and then a porch then another house could be made up of three rooms a kitchen and then wash rooms then we also have self-contained houses and there are even houses that have multi stories so you realize that there are different categories of houses now what i intend to do is to show the step-by-step -step procedure in wiring a house but in this video we are going to start with the basics and that is we are going to look at how to wire a small house and then we will progress to look at how to wire bigger houses and multi-story houses in subsequent videos. All right, so the wiring that we are going to look at in this video will comprise of a one bedroom, a sitting area, and then a porch or an open veranda. So now we know the type of house we are going to wire and so the next thing we have to do is to know how the client or how you would want to wire that house and that means to say what will be the switching configurations of the lights is there any lamp or a certain group of lamps in the wiring that you would want to use more than one switch to control all these questions have to come and then when you know exactly what you are going to do then you will have to prepare a list of materials what we normally refer to as estimates so you prepare a list of all the materials that you will need for the wiring then sometimes if the client wishes you add the cost good so first you have to understand the way the system needs to be wired then you prepare your list of materials and then if you want to know the names of some of the common materials that are used in house wiring you can refer to my video on house wiring material list which i have shared under this video all right and now understanding the way you are going to do the wiring also involves having an idea of the appliances that will be used in the wiring and then how you are going to group those appliances in various circuits and that will also help you to properly select your cable sizes okay so you have to understand how the wiring is going to be you have to know what and what you need to do the wiring you have to prepare a list of the materials and then you have to know how you are going to group the various appliances into various circuits and that will guide you to correctly select the cable size that you use for the wiring and again if you want to know how to select the proper size of cable for your wiring needs i already have a video on that it's among the videos i have shared under this very one it will help you to have an idea of how to select the correct cable size for your wiring all right, so this is a general overview of what I'll be doing in the series of videos that I'll be uploading on proper house wiring. All right, and I'll be showing the step-by-step -step 
procedures to achieve all these things that I've talked about in the subsequent videos. And then we'll move on to how to properly wire a house. That is where we will be doing the proper wiring itself. We select the cables where we have different circuits that will be wired with different cable sizes. And then from there, we'll look at inspection and testing. The wiring regulations make it very clear that after an electrical wiring, before that electrical wiring is energized, or before power is supplied to the electrical wiring, inspection and testing of the installation must be done to ensure that the wiring is properly done according to set rules and electrical codes in the environment within which the installation is done. So we'll be looking at inspection and testing. What are we expected to do in inspection and testing? So we'll look at some of the things that we need to do in terms of inspection and testing. And then we'll be looking at some of the relevant tests to be carried out on a newly completed installation. Already I have some of the tests in my videos already. Um, I have already showed how to carry out insulation resistance tests on an electrical wiring. I have also already done how to test air electric resistance and improve electric resistance to air. All these are part of the relevant tests that must be carried out on an electrical wiring before it is commissioned, okay? And so some of the tests like polarity tests and continuity tests will also be done in this series of videos that I'll be bringing out under proper house wiring. So stay tuned and let's learn together. If this is an interesting topic to you, then I will encourage you to subscribe and stay connected. And make sure you share the video to anyone who will also be interested in this particular topic. Don't forget to click on the like button and be in anticipation. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.